Howe Main Theater. Uh, as well as Main Street Bank, who is helping with the season. So, uh, we are really fortunate, I think, to have a, a, a space like this in Wheeling. Uh, for the kind of town we are, to have such a wonderful place that supports the arts and, and, and the theater and everything that they do here. Um, I wanted to bring my friend Ryan out. Ryan, you back there? Oh, hi, this is Ryan. If you don't ask Ryan. Sorry. I was not as soon as you said I was, I was trying to get festive with this light, but it, it doesn't really flash anymore. There's two lights that flash on this now. <laughs> two lights. And you actually have to hold in the buttons the whole time. So if anybody wants to help me out, just come out. No, I'm just kidding. I you guarantee know, I that Sean Decker bought this at a gas station and spent like 19 bucks on it. <laughs> um, I see some split wires. That might be the... That's just lick it. No. Um, so I've known Ryan for a really long time. Um, the... Uh, Actually, uh, I was a senior at Wheeling Jesuit when Ryan was a freshman. Yeah. And that was back in um, 19... And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, Ryan was actually in the... Fr uh, he's the he doesn't know I'm going to tell the story. Ryan was actually in the first play that I directed at Oh, Jesuit. yeah. Yeah, but guess what I was? Guess who I was? Romeo. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> So, up, so we were doing we were doing one acts and we did uh, I did I directed the uh, the balcony scene right the classic scene the Romeo Romeo scene and um, I killed it uh, maybe uh, so we practiced quite a bit yeah. for that and um, and everything was going fine and we were just wait, doing wait. a classic Eliz Elizabethan setting I'm talking just wait I'm just shut your mouth this is part of the problem so opening night everything was going just fine in rehearsals. We had in a, uh, like a classic Elizabethan setting, and then Ryan comes out, and Ryan just starts basically improving uh, the, the the show. Oh, and, that's because I couldn't remember the line. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> so he comes out, yeah. he's doing like like Juliet's doing like the uh, when shall I call for you or whatever, and he's like, you shall see me by the hour of nine. And he's looking because at Romeo had a watch. Yeah, you know, he had a watch at that time. Yeah, um, and I've never forgiven you for that. It's good to know now. Yeah, but yeah. Up now, right. too embarrassing. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but but I take well, it, it, well, it takes it takes some uh, you know some some talent to improv Shakespeare. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And good looks. <laughs> yes. So the improv I think has served him well because Ryan is also is a it? left of center player uh, player team with with myself for down here. Yeah. Um, so while they're setting up, we thought we'd do a real quick. Uh, improv game, just real quick. Um, just yeah. a two-person scene. Okay. Um, let's do uh, let's do a, a, a game called script scene. And what that is is it's uh, two people make up a scene on the spot. One of them has a script, and um, the other one is just doesn't have a script, right? So they're making up a thing. The other person can only read from a script. So what I need from the audience, real quick, is uh, a suggestion. I just shout out the first thing you think of when I say. Uh, what is your uh, the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? An elephant. An elephant. You got an elephant for Christmas. <laughs> when did you get an elephant for Christmas? Snake. I got one two days ago. All right, all right. We're going with elephant. Okay. We're going with elephant. Elephant. Um, and I'm going. I'm going to have the script in this. Wait, and you get the script? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is payback, man. Um, Miracle on 34th Street. It was just here a couple, uh, the last couple weeks here at Town Gate. Great show if you didn't see it. Um, but, uh, all right, ready? Uh, uh, do you want me to do this, Elizabethan? Sure, whatever you want to do. Let me, just, let, me now. let me find a page here. All right, so, all right, all right. Uh, script scene, and our suggestion is elephant. Ready? Elephant, okay. Go. <sighs> hey, um, I was wondering, I know the store's about to close, but uh, my kid asked for something for Christmas, and I really need to get it for him. And what is your Christmas wish, young man? Do I really look that young? I mean, that's cool. That's great for me. Um, uh, actually, he, he kind of wants an elephant. I, I was looking at your shelves. I didn't see one on the shelves, but... Oh, thank you for shopping at Macy's. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you've got the best elephants. I mean, if you go to Kmart for elephants, they're... Uh, well, uh, what'll Mr. Macy say about that? Well, he would probably say don't shop at Kmart. Oh, no. 
This child has only recently arrived from an orphanage in Holland. What am I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> I'm, Wait, I'm sorry, I, I, I can translate for you. Yes? What's he saying now? How are you today? Oh, okay. Um, tell him to tell you I want an elephant. That's the reason I came here. And why don't you believe in Santa Claus, Susan? <laughs> well, you see, uh, I've, I, I just, I don't know. I, I haven't had the spirit hit me yet, you know? I've missed the Polar Express that just passed by my house. Well, it was nice talking to you anyway, but I don't think you ought to pretend to all these children that you are going to bring them what they want. Ah, uh, they all wanted elephants. <laughs> oh my. Um, I can't afford it anyway, it's fine. I don't really like them. Merry Christmas to you, Susan! Uh, thanks! Um, I didn't catch your name, what's your name? Oh, uh, Mr. Macy. Oh, wait, you're Mr. So you talk in the third person. This must not be Tuesday, after all. I'm still asleep and dreaming. <laughs> I know, I snuck into your bedroom to find out if you had any elephants under your bed because there are none at Macy's on the shelves. You did what? Take, hey, hold on, you've got things in your ears. Okay, I snuck into your room while you were sleeping. I creeped on you for a little bit, I watched you, you talk in your sleep. It's not good. And then I waited to find out if you had elephants. Put it back on. <laughs> How are you going to hear me? Is this child how you, like, I don't know sign language. A masterful stroke! <laughs> yes, I think you're having a stroke. <laughs> what, what am I, am I supposed to give you a spoon or something? I don't know really what to do about these kind of things. I don't know either. <laughs> okay, all right, Mr. Mason, let's get you back to bed, okay? Um, do you want some, like, uh, plum? Pudding, or I don't know what you Christmassy thing to eat before bed is. I'm glad you said delusions. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm in a weird delusion right now. Yes. <laughs> well, how many fingers am I holding up? Looks like five. Three, two, one. One and a half. One. I. I. That's none of your business. Now, what's three times five? Uh, three times five is fifteen, obviously. Wait, is it fifteen dollars for an elephant? Please tell me it's fifteen dollars because you know. Oh, I'll have to think of a way around that one. Okay, can you gift wrap it? Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Susan. What? <laughs> but you didn't give me the elephant. Uh, I, I, Okay, fine. I'll just go check Kmart. Oh. <laughs> I hate Macy's anyway. Jeez. All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs>